Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in the Abbasid Adventure. Uh, Crusader King Sue. So we have enough cultural technology points. We gain a decent amount. Nothing major. Nothing crazy. Um, we actually make more military right now. But we could take legalism. Legalism 3 will unlock high centralization and late, late feudal administration and regulated inheritance, which will hopefully keep the realm from getting all messy like. Um, kind of crazy that we can already do regulated inheritance fairly early in the game, I would say. We take a, a, a sizable ahead of time penalty. I think I'm going to do that though. We don't want to pass the actual law yet, even though I would really like it because uh, we're almost a paragon of virtue, which gives us learning, which is good for esoteric knowledge. So we don't want to pass any laws right now. Is there anyone that we could murder or plot against? We could plot to revoke Elam. We're back down to... no, we're still at 9 out of 9. Let's plot to revoke Elam. I want to keep on taking more of the provinces in this duchy. Keep on migrating. We'll take Elam and then get rid of something else over here. Working in your observatory, lately you are often frustrated by broken equipment, weeks on end with cloudy weather and frequent interruptions by curious intruders and even animals. It's very hard to maintain concentration to get anything done. 10% chance we become stressed or it's no use, we lose diligent. Uh, let's risk stressed. We're fine. Considering that his primary holding is both, let's just split the levy on both provinces in case he rebels when I try to take it. My courtier Shay Shaban has offered to travel to the Wee Empire on a mission to bring glory to the Sultanate of Syria. Please, my lord, he says, let a humble servant strengthen your relations. A brilliant idea, I say. I think Sultana Talib Talib Taliba is better suited, or I'm sorry, but Ubaid would give a better impression of us. I wonder how you decide this. Maybe based on their attributes would probably be the best. He's Shia. I think we send someone who's my religion. Let's send our wife. Send the woman. She'll do a good job. Who knew arbitrary could be good? My subjective opinions have always given me more praise than criticism. We can now revo revoke the sheikdom of whatever. And since he has two provinces, any money that he has is not going to be lost. So let's, uh, let's see what he has to say about that after our army is in position. He'll probably just say yes, because he's a count. He's weak. Or not. Well, that's not going to work out very well for you, sir. We've got Bork here. Way of the Tiger. Wait a minute, you did pick up... You picked up Way of the Tiger. Wait, when did Bork get Way of the Tiger? Suddenly, Way of the Tiger is showing up. This is the one that I wanted. My commander, my military guy, doesn't have that, does he? He does not. He's got Way of the Dragon and Strategist, which is, they're both good, but... I think no matter what, you can only have three traits, so... Way of the Tiger. Movement speed, flanking, retreat, all very good. This guy's getting pretty old. Let's actually make him into the Marshal and have him go back to organizing and see if maybe he can spread some of those traits to our newer commanders. We need a new commander as well. Uh, it will be you. And that means we need to apply or appoint some other guys here. Yes, Bork. And let's grab another siege guy like, say, you. Yeah, this rebellion, it's gonna go super well for you, sir. I, uh, I totally approve of this. This makes sense. Our son needs a focus. Um, our realm is getting big enough that we don't really need high martial score anymore. If anything, learning or diplomacy or stewardship, I think would be appropriate. Let's go for a thrift. I think it's been said in the past that thrift is just like the best focus because the potential outcomes are I think they're all good. Curious can become shrewd, which is great. It's basically like ambitious, but different. Cynical is not that bad because it gives you prestige. Sympathy for other religions is fine. Patient, greedy, paranoid are all solid. Like, they're great. Patient's probably one of the best traits. Patient and diligent. 
Truces are expiring with uh, Iraq already. Apparently I haven't gone to war in a while. Can we like just, I don't know, subjugate the Byzantines? Establish tributary state on the Byzantine Empire. They only have 9,000 troops. That sounds fun. Will only break if we have negative stuff. Yeah, you should be my, my tributary. Sultan, realm size greater than 100% of the Basilius's realm size. What is your realm size? His realm size is... It's one of these numbers somewhere. It's uh, it's in here. 309, and I've got 241. So we can't do that yet. Well, we could just take a chunk out of you then. Who is this? And why are you independent? Byzantine Revolt. Okay, declare war. Do a holy war for Mesopotamia, since you are currently being silly. Uh, let's create a rally point up here. What happened to my rally point on the coast? I know I had one. Alright, well, let's put it right, um... In Tortosa. Okay, and I said that I did want to use my retinue cap for these guys, but we don't have enough cap for it yet. And we still have a lot of holdings to build out, so... Uh, it'll be a while till we can really afford to raise retinue cap by a huge amount. How is income right now, anyway? Positive 475. With the levy raise, we only make 200, so it's kind of expensive to go to war. Can we afford... You know what? We can afford, I think, to win this war without our own troops. Besides, the retinue is rather expensive, isn't it? 16 ducats? Rather expensive. Siege of something is complete. At age 65, my acquaintance is dead of the cancer. Not the Gideon cancer, but cancer nonetheless. We do have one guy with that movement speed bonus, but he is busy right now. Uh, training, isn't he? Oh, looks like Kozel has it too. Cool. That is amazing. Look at that. Movement speed. Wait a minute. It says movement speed plus zero, wave of the tiger plus 30. Oh, right, right, right. It's doing that thing where I gotta just wait a little bit and it'll fix. My marshal tells me that one of my commanders, Bork, has improved significantly. He could change, he could gain up to three marshal. Um, he also gets heavy infantry leader. He is at 22. He gains two marshal and became a heavy infantry, a heavy infantry leader. Very impressive. Good job, sir. I approve. All right, this is confusing me. Wave of the tiger is not providing any bonus movement speed whatsoever. So what's up with that? That doesn't seem right. I have been told that you are pursuing studies in fields that deny the truths of the greatest. I am certain that such rumors are only slander and that you would never do such a thing. If it were true, however, I would be most disappointed. The Caliph should stay out of my business. I become brave. Am I already brave? I'm not brave. Screw you, Caliph. I'm brave. I stand up to the boy. The boy who, like, we've... Spent generations in... Is it? Which Caliph is it, anyway? There's a Caliph out there, right? <laughs> Realms, max size. Or... I guess maybe religions? Sunni religion? Caliph Hafiz III. Independent states. Arabian Empire. It's not him. It's not him, that's me. Is, is it Hispania? No. Is it, uh... Maybe on the religious screen? Caliph, there he is. Yeah, he's, he's not even the top dude. Why would I care about your opinion, man? You're just like a duke. Might be the leader of all Sunni religion, but you are just a duke. A weak duke, at that. Again, I don't know why we're not getting movement speed, but... Okay. Grab our double siege leader if he's available. Or isn't is the double siege leader the guy that I appointed to be a marshal? He is. Yeah, pass some traits, please. Any prisoners? Oh, that's a lot of plot power. We have now eight prisoners.
Anybody that I particularly care about yet? Uh, that one has some cash somehow. Can't banish her. There's only worth 10 ducats. We're not her heir. I kind of want her to just die, actually. So we're going to put her in the ublet. I prefer for her to die so that her money goes to her heir so that I can maybe get the money from the heir or he'll spend it. I don't want a child holding out of the cash. That's just dumb. Uh, exclude from mass release execute. Thank you. And then we will mass ransom. Or ten whole gold. Can you believe it? A lot of gold. You want peace? Uh, I want to finish sieging everything out so that I can get some more prisoners, please. No more sieges to be done here because these are not actually part of the war, so we can consolidate over here. Same thing here. No, two more. And uh, that's my new holding that I'm building. One more to siege here. Never give in to fear. Look at that decadence climbing. Climbing straight down. Two children lack an education focus. You will become Marshall because that's what you have so far. You will become that one. Levy's raised too long. You have decadent relatives. Okay. My marshal tells me that one of my commanders has significantly improved. Good job. He goes from 15 up to... 18! Nice! 10% chance roller. You're a baller, sir. Good job. Sieges need to complete. I really... wish... That there was a thing here that would s tell you that they're already appointed somewhere, you know? Just, like, let me know, like, all it needs, just one little thing, like, a checkbox, like, don't show already appointed commanders. How amazing would that be? I'll tell you how amazing it would be. It would be amazing, amazing. Like, 10 level amazing. But, it's like a six-year-old, seven-year-old game, so, you know. They only patch it every couple months. It's not like they can add something like that to the game, right? <laughs> Especially because it would only be 10 amazing. It needs to be at least 20 amazing before they consider doing something like that. Gain 200 grace. Good job, my wife. What a, what a wonderful woman. We don't have anything else we can do. When can we do these other things again? 96 and 96. That's a long time. This character is not going to do that for quite a long time. We're currently not gaining any, uh, any grace over time. We're probably going to want to go kowtow soon, because otherwise we're not going to earn much at all. What is your deal? You like concubines. It's just a shame I can't send you more, then. If you like them so much, why don't you just let me send you an extra? We don't have to count it. Don't, don't add it to the list. Try to ransom first? No. Okay. We've succeeded in our plot. We... Have usurped the title Mosque? We've taken a lot of stuff, apparently. Apparently we, we took, like, what? Everything? Yeah. Neat. So we have three holdings. That's too many. We're also building that temple there. Double cities. Let's give him... Create a new random mosque, I think. Or do we want to... You know what we should do? Let's do this. We're going to go... We're going to make this, hopefully, a good decision. We're going to be smart about this. Let's find characters. All characters. I want to find characters who have lots of cash. Like, lots of cash. That are unlanded. Count Emir Sultan Maharaja. That's an Indian. Alright, this might be harder than I thought. Um, why isn't it letting me sort by gold? Like, the gold sorting is clearly not working. There we go. Okay. So, Captain Ben Crazio the Just, you've got 33,000 gold. Holy crap. Where did this all come from? Sir. Sir. I need you to come and live in my lands. Immediately. I, I want that 33,000 gold. Or Captain this guy. Chinese fella. 
All right, I'll take um, these captains are all super rich. It'd be too difficult, I think, to find someone specifically. If I wanted to take the time for it, though, we could just land one of those guys as a mosque owner. Like, invite them to court, and then land them, and then just, you know, kill them. <laughs> and we inherit all the stuff, and it'd be great. Load filters. Okay. Mm we have a decadent guy from the... This thing. I don't really care that he's decadent, but... We've gained more military and we've gained learning. Awesome. We are super good at studying the stars and stuff. He accepts my invitation. Alright, so you're from, from a different dynasty. Um, you are my, my subject. You have boys... ...which would inherit, so we wouldn't have to worry probably, but if his whole dynasty breaks and, and like dies out, I think it would end up trying to escape. But we're going to pass a law soon that's going to prevent that anyway, so let's just land him with that mosque. And then we might as well give him multiple subholdings because uh, that'd be fine. Alright, we're still over the domain limit. Let's get rid of a holding over here now. Something that's not along the silk trade route. Like, looks like... I'm 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 a I'm a, I'm a frack I'm a frack. I'm gonna go with this 58 year old man, the Grand Vizier of Darum. I bribe you. Come join me. Leave that silly court. Come live in mine. My court's much better. Come on, come on, come on then. There we are. You may have a province of Al Mafrak. We'll keep him as a direct vassal since we're only at 13 out of 19 right now. We have righteous imprisonment on this guy. He's acted dishonorably, but he's not, you know, he is in hiding. This guy's been in hiding, like, the entire day I've recorded today. He's just, he's just, like, a paranoid son of a gun, isn't he? I mean, he obviously is, but, like, he's, like, really paranoid. More paranoid than most. This is all retinue, I believe. Not quite. Let's bring the retinue up this way. We do have 26 war score against this rebellion. I'd like to finish this war if possible. I'd also like to get my piety above 500 so we can finally start to pass some laws and... You know, get rid of the decadence gain. Decadence has still been going down overall, but it'd go down a lot faster if we could get rid of those decadent people. That's quite a bit of wealth that we've built up now. I think I'll build another mosque here, because I'm always going to hold this because it's a trade trade location. At age 72, your acquaintance, the Wali Hafiz of Sulsana, has died a natural death. I don't know how I knew him. But I knew him. I knew him well. And it was good. We can raise our first camel warrior retinue. Let's go ahead and do that. I think I'm going to just keep my, my retinue kind of in the middle of the country for now. We don't need them for these sieges. He takes a 25%. That'll be the final bishopric there. Personally, I like the art style for the, the holdings in Catholic nations better. This is the whole duchy, so if we siege down the entire duchy, the war score should be very quickly building up. I want the best siege leader here. Which is going to be Bork. And then I want secondary siege leader, which is going to be... Tugdor is not a siege leader. Put Jalil there. Domain too big. Temple has finished construction in Elam. Sounds like another province for our newfound guy. Do 
34%. It's pretty quick. This one's about to complete. 63 war score. 72 war score. We don't have any war score from battles, though, so I think we're going to end up getting restricted. But the ticking war score will allow it to go beyond. It should, I think. Okay. War War Score, cool. Alright, you are sure you have made a breakthrough in your studies. Yes, it cannot be otherwise. The Earth is round and it revolves around the sun. How little we know of the universe. Gain tons of prestige. Tons. We can become known as the wise, the able, the scholar, the priest-hater. <laughs> All priests and zealous characters in your realm will have their opinions of you changed by negative 25. Boy, that's such a problem because we have so many priests having no actual temple vassals. Hmm. We will remove studying the stars and gain the trait Scholar, which is more learning. Free learning, 10 trait, uh, plus 10 with the same trait. Or we continue it in secret. Uh, I will stop this achievement. No, I think we publish the findings. We want to be known as the wise. We are so wise and learned. What a smart man. Smart, smart man we are. All right, come on, get, let's just, I want to wrap this war up before I put a cut in here. Let's go, come on, Siege, 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 get it, get it. I know, the game would go faster if I played on Speed, speed 4, but... I gotta admit, I'm kind of enjoying playing a little bit slower. And just enjoying the events, and reading the events, and getting more involved in those. You do surrender, excellent, we accept. I gain 100 piety, fantastic. Thank you, appreciate that. So, um... We we did vassalize this guy who's the wrong religion. Um, we he's a he's a he's a possessed lunatic. He's a bit stressed out about the state of affairs. We do not have religious revocation, so we can't just make him not a subject anymore. And they are the wrong religion. It's kind of weird though. Why why did we keep him as a vassal? I had him full occupied. Normally religious wars um, give you control of the provinces directly. Oh well. Uh, here's the uh, achievement, the ambition. See the realm prosper. Rule in peace for five years. Build a war chest. Uh, let's go for build a war chest. I'd like that national tax modifier. Now we can spend all of our piety. So, we will... First... I wanted to raise centralization. I also wanted to do religious revocation. I also now want to do controlled, controlled realm inheritance. I guess we do religious control mandate first. And apparently we can also do controlled realm inheritance, which is great. We're gonna lose some cash. I need your duchy. I'm gonna leave this army here. Expecting we're probably gonna have to do some more work here. So you're no longer a duke. You were the wrong religion. Wait a minute. Why do I have you marked? I want you to die. We can extort our subjects. All of our subjects lose opinion. We can take cash. All of our subjects... No, no matter what we do, it'll piss everyone off. Which isn't a big deal, actually. I think that most of my realm loves me. Let's see. Vassal opinion. Yeah, well, these guys don't like me. But most of these guys like me. Say goodbye to some ducats. This dynasty is way too large to, to kill. We're just going to have to revoke them all. Since he is an infidel, only the orthodox people will care. Say goodbye to the monies. Triple revoke. We'll reassign to some people that matter. He accepts. She accepts. He accepts. Excellent. So that means we can stand down. Do we need to worry about these other subholdings? Um, we can freely revoke the mosques. He's got 1400 ducats though. I think we just let the guy be the wrong religion on the subholdings and eventually, eventually the province will convert to our religion and stuff and even if it doesn't, I don't care. I don't want to lose 1400 ducats. So, let's see, do we want to give this to the northern guy? We've got a northern guy who's pretty strong. It's a lot of holdings. We have room for direct vassals. I think we'll just create a new dude in the north. A new duder. This genius looks rather good, but he doesn't want to come join me. This ambitious man. You know, I like you.
I like you a lot. Let's grant the title of all of it. You may have Cleat. First and foremost. And now you may have the entire duchy of Mesopotamia. Congrats, sir. Enjoy the northern provinces. So that's still not going to be enough to allow us to declare a war against you. You have too many holdings. 311. But we're on track. And we're looking alright. So, cool. I am going to take a break here. I will be back in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you soon. See you in a bit.